Matt Copen here, product manager for Kramer's Via Products. And today, we're going to be taking a look at unboxing the Via products and getting them set up on your network. Now, when your products arrive, they're going to arrive in a Kramer box similar to these boxes here. There's a few things you want to make sure you take out of that box in order to make this setup process happen. First and foremost is your Via Connect Pro or your Via Collage. For the demonstration today, we're going to be using the Via Collage. So the Via Connect Pro, I'm going to step aside. Also out of that box, you're going to want to make sure you grab the power supply and the power cable. Now what you'll also find in that box is the Via Collage or Connect Pro Quick Start Guide. This is a very good tool to get you set up and running the first time, but we're going to put that aside for today and we're going to, we're going to do it on our own. A few more things you're also going to need for this setup process. Uh, you're going to need an HDMI cable that's going to connect your Via Collage to the display uh, that's behind me. You're going to also need a display. You're also going to need a network cable. Uh, and to that point, you're also going to need some type of a network. Now, this can be your house network, or for the demonstration that I'm going to be doing today, we're just going to be using an Apple Airport Express to set up our own little standalone network. Now, make sure that if you're going to be putting this on your house network, you talk to your network administrator and get the necessary things that are required for putting this product on the network. Via products require a static IP address, so make sure you have an IP address. You're going to get the subnet mask. You're going to get the default gateway, and you're going to get the DNS server, all from your network administrator. Once you've got those four things, you're ready to put the product on your network. The other thing you're also going to need, at least for our demonstration today, is a USB keyboard and mouse. Uh, there are two ways to set up both the Via Collage or the Via Connect. Um, you can do it through a computer with the web browser and browse to the IP address of the box, set it all up from the embedded web page, or with a keyboard and mouse. For the sake of today's demo, we're going to be using the keyboard and mouse. So next, you're going to need to make a couple connections. I'm going to go ahead and turn on my display here. And you're going to want to make three connections to the Via Collage. You're going to want to make uh, a network connection, you're going to want to make a power connection, and you're going to want to make an HDMI connection. I'm going to start with the HDMI connection here. I'm going to connect it to the HDMI output and the other end to my cable that's connected to my display here. Now, it's very important not to turn on the Via Collage until all these connections are made. The next connection I'm going to make is my network connection. So I have a LAN port in the back here I'm going to connect that to. And then I'm also going to connect it to my Airport Express. And the final connection I'm going to make is power. So I'm going to take this power cable and I'm going to connect this to my power strip here, and the other end to my power supply. And then I'm going to connect it to the VIA. And then finally, once all those connections are made, I'm going to power on the VIA by pressing the power button on the front panel. Now you're going to see the VIA collage boot up here. And once it boots up, you're going to see the wallpaper and the home screen. Uh, from the wallpaper and the home screen, it's going to tell you the current IP address. Now all VIA products, and Kramer products for that matter, come with a default IP address of 192.168.1.39. Chances are that's not going to be the IP address that you're going to want to use on your network. So the next process we're going to go through here is setting the IP address so that it matches whatever your network administrator provided you with. OK, great. Once you see the wallpaper, you're going to notice down here in the bottom left-hand corner the default IP address. So currently, it's set to that IP address. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to want to change those IP settings so that we match it to our network here. So I'm going to take my keyboard and mouse. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I'm going to click right up here on the menu, open it up. And then I'm going to choose Features. And Features is going to show you a number of different things. But the one that I'm interested in right now is all the way at the bottom, it's labeled Settings. When you, when you click on the Settings button, it's going to ask you for a password. Now, the default password, which can be changed at any point in time, is SUPASS. So I'm going to go ahead and type that in here and press Enter. And when I press Enter, I'm brought into the Settings menu. Now, the Settings menu gives me a number of different things, but the first tab is the LAN settings. That's where I'm going to go to change the IP address so that it matches the network settings. Now, I've already been given the settings from my network administrator, so I'm going to go ahead and type those in here. When I'm finished, I'm going to click Apply Settings. The VIA is going to tell me that it happened successfully, and it's going to ask me to reboot the system. The rebooting process will probably take anywhere from about one to two minutes. This is the one place where the setup for the VIA Connect Pro differs from the VIA Collage. 
Because the Via Connect Pro sits only locally on your network and does not require access to the internet, it's Kramer's recommendation that you set the DNS server and the default gateway to match the IP address of the Via Connect Pro. Once your Via Collage is rebooted, you'll recognize the same wallpaper. You'll see the new IP address and room name down in the left-hand corner. At this point, your Via Collage is set up and ready to go. You're ready to connect with whatever devices it is that you use on a regular basis. To connect, you'll need a small application that's downloaded directly from the Via Collage. 